my channel <clears throat> I am Lee Manaka and this is my channel Lee Manaka so today is a bit of a somber note so <clears throat> I wanted to come on here and remind you how important it is to show care and show love for the people that you really love you know because you really ne never know when they're gonna leave you um, this whole thing of holding on to assumptions and just like we all just fuck communicate you know if you love somebody tell them if you care for them tell them you know um, and from there at least you know that you'll make some sort of I don't know some sort of something some kind of relationship out of it even if it means that all that you get out of it is the fact that you both know the truth you know and I know it's kind of hard with boundaries and stuff like I actually um, stopped creating the self-care journals the the online self-care journals online it's <laughs> digital self-care journals um, because I'm working on something just a little bit better and bigger um, but I think I might make them available um, because honestly you can use those journals at any time yes they have months in them but the rituals and the steps and everything is so helpful um, so I'm going to put the link below. But I really think we need to put pride aside, put ego aside, and just tell each other how we really feel, you know. Um, yes, it's difficult to keep in touch with everyone. But if you consider somebody a part of your group one, group one would be people that you want to con talk to more than everyone else. Talk to them. Um, if you consider somebody a group two, yes, you'll talk to them less, but you still care about them. So yes, you will still reach out. And something that I've realized, especially in the 20s, going towards the 30s, is that I am turning 32, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, <laughs> is that people tend to assume a lot, you know, we assume what people feel towards us we assume um, why people act the way they do like yes not everyone is going to tell you the truth not everyone is going to give you a reason for why they are cutting you off for creating boundaries because they don't have to but I think it is necessary for us to really be honest with ourselves and what it is that we want out of life you know we can't make it a thing where literally we are assuming that somebody hates us just because they cut us off but there might be something that they've said previously that you did not actually listen to you know the thing about listening is that if there's a difference between listening and hearing hearing somebody is just hearing to hear them Listening is listening to understand. You need to remember that there's three different sides to every story. There's your side, there's their side, and there's the truth. And the reason why the truth isn't, not saying that their side or your side isn't the truth, but those are full of emotions. Those are full of everything that can cloud what actually happened. And as a human, that's an experience that we need to understand. However, once we understand this experience, so first, I'm still learning this, by the way, but first, when you get into an altercation or whatever, you first understand your own emotions and how you feel and validate those emotions because they are real and they are true. Then, you need to try to figure out how it might have looked from the other person's perspective. If you can't, if you can't empathize and you can't put yourself in that person's shoes because we can't, like, I was telling a friend that 
as much as we would like to say that we know what other people go through especially when it comes to the opposite sex we really don't know i'm a woman i will never really know what it is that men go through and even so within the community of womanhood i don't know what every other woman is going through either there's so many different little things that happen in each moment from different traumas to different scenarios that would change the way I think about things, the way I react to things. So generally, we can't really put ourselves in other people's shoes. We won't fully understand, but we need to be open enough to listen. Once we've listened, once we've taken it all in and just sort of understand what's going on, then we can get to a place of understanding. And just be like, listen, I can be better for you, you know. But yeah, first, we need to look within. Second, we need to look without. Um, but yeah, there's a lot happening in the cosmos. Um, Mercury Station Direct, I think yesterday it was. And the amount of lessons that it brought is actually kind of scary. Um, not entirely sure. Let me check. It was in the sign of Taurus, it looks like. And Taurus has a lot to do with money. It is the house. It is usually, it, it, it rules the house that has to do with money. I don't even know what I was saying. But I think the biggest thing, oh yeah, Mercury was in Taurus, the house that rules money. So there might have been a lot of changes in the way we think about money in the last month. Um, the shadow period is still here, so communication might still be a bit wonky. Um, and anything that has to do with communication and even um, technology. So. Just reread your emails. Um, if you have to sign anything, re like read it very carefully. And yeah, just write out your feelings. You know, um, if you have to have a, commun a, a a talk with somebody, try talk to them. As like ground yourself first. Grounding has to do with clearing your mind, breathing deeply because we don't breathe correctly. Like. Um, meditation, stretching, exercise, and once you feel like you are a bit more at your wits, instead of emotional, then you can talk about it. Yeah, then you can talk about it. But I feel there's just a lot of emotions running wild right now. Oh, you blew to me, guys. Pluto is retrograde right now in Aquarius. I have Aquarius in my, yeah, my Saturn is in Aquarius. I just had my Saturn return. And as soon as Saturn went into Pisces, Lord, nothing got better. <laughs> so I think it's just, we need to be just a little more present and less foggy about things and just be a little more hopeful as well and give ourselves a little more grace i think once we give ourselves a little more grace is the the moment we might give people more grace because i feel like we but i mean it might even be the other way around i feel like when we grow we give people so much grace we forget to give ourselves and then we get to a point where we don't even understand why we're so angry i know I, that's me <laughs> but yeah, this was just a reminder to never forget how important you are first. And that as much as it feels like you need to be alone, as much as it feels like you are the only one sharing, the only one complaining, the only one going through shit, you must remember that everybody goes through things different ways. And 
in order for you to love fully and unconditionally you need to also understand that some people will only come to you because remember we all have different relationships right there's a possibility that you might have a partner a best friend a brother a sister a mother who chooses to keep things in instead of speaking them out that has nothing to do with you that has to do with how they heal or how they process um they might even talk to somebody else instead of you. Might not have to do with anything that has to do with your relationship. But you need to understand that because we have all these people that are spread out in our lives, all of them benefit our lives in different ways. So before we assume that anything is wrong or bad, we must ask. Once we've asked and we have clarity, then we can move forward. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.